Welcome to Hunters Exchange TV. This week we're heading to Onekama, Michigan to the Onekama Marine Memorial Weekend Shakedown Salmon Tournament. This salmon tournament is part of the 333 series on the Great Lakes. We're looking forward to a lot of fish this weekend, so stay tuned. Well, we're here in Onekama, Michigan. We're at Onekama Marine, right downtown, the, the small village of Onekama. And we're getting set up. It's Thursday. Tomorrow is our ladies tournament. Melanie is coming to town. And then our pro staff uh, member, Brian Baker, his wife, Allison, is coming aboard to fish. And then we're gonna have my daughter and their daughter. The wind is howling still. We've been hoping to get out there with the wind blowing like this, it's probably a good idea for me to take this time and, and talk with uh, one of the local charter captains here, Kevin Hughes, who heads up the Sandpiper 3 charters, um, about what's been working for him and uh, also to kind of tell me about the area. And then tomorrow morning, 7 a.m., shotgun start, we're off and running. So it's going to be an exciting weekend. What really helps us in the fishing is that we have a lot of natural tributaries, constant temperature, constant flow that flow into Lake Michigan year-round. All those streams flowing in here just puts a lot of natural reproduced fish. So it really helps us. Those factors just almost guarantee this area year in and year out, you know, a fantastic fishery. You know, today, like I say, uh, we talked to boats in a 40, 50 mile stretch and, you know, there was people, you know, came anywhere from, you know, about six or eight to, you know, 20 some fish today. Very often, most people have good consistent catches. It's not just one or two people that can go 25 or 30 miles while short. So let's talk about the area a little bit. Um, tell me about Manistee County. We're just blessed because we're just right here in Northwest Michigan and we're right along the coastline. As far as boaters, um, you know, I, I'm a boater and I, I like to go to different ports and harbors and we're very fortunate that we have three deep water harbors in Manistee County. So, and so you can bring your, you know, 40, 50 footer in, your sailboat with a big keel, whatever. You can come in and you can pull in, get nice accommodations. And a lot of times the marinas are located so you can walk right into their town. And if you're a, you know, if you know how the uh, Lake Michigan kick up, that's nice to know that you're not that far from a port. You know, you're not going to be up in some of these areas where you're 25, 30 miles from the nearest port. What What are the things you know, for everybody else to do besides, you know, while Dad's out fishing, if Mom doesn't want to fish? Well, you know, uh, there's a lot to do around here. We have national forests and state forests, and there's, you know, there's canoeing and there's kayaking and hiking and mountain biking, and then we have these little port towns that have these unique little shops. We have unique family-owned stores that are up and down these port towns that are, you know, you can find some re really unique products and handmade stuff and sort of uh, golf courses. You know, we are just fortunate that we're along this coast and we have, you know, Arcadia Bluffs is known around the country as one of the top courses. In the, it's a little cool today, but if it was a normal summer day here on Portage Lake, you'd see jet skiing going on, you'd see sailing, you'd see water skiing. I mean, just those type of activities because it's sort of unique, Manistee County, not only there's our lakes, uh, we hook to Lake Michigan. So you can go out big lake fish, but you can come inside and do those small lake activities. So it's sort of the best of both worlds. That's great. That's really great. Now, what about, uh, what about night if somebody wants to you know, come to town and enjoy themselves in the evening? Well, there's um, you know some nice restaurants. Uh, we, eat, we have some real high-end restaurants that are seasonal. Some are seasonal, some are just during the uh, summer year-round, but they have, uh, you know, great local produce, you know, local asparagus is big right now. So they have a lot of special dishes with the local farm produce. A lot of people are going farm to field now or right into the restaurants. And you know what, the last uh, few years, the casino in, in Manistee has uh, built up and, you know, they got an unbelievable nightlife, uh, buffet dinners, if you like gaming, they have, uh, you know, big time entertainment down there. So. And if you just want to, uh, tonight you might just want to have a picnic on the beach or one of our nice uh, free parks and have a, you know, kit cook out with your kids. You know, that's fun too. So right. we, we offer everything from just the basic picnic areas uh, up to the high-end restaurants into the casino with the nightlife and, 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 you know, Las Vegas act. So it's basically, 
you, you can choose what you want to do. There's just a lot of places that, you know what, it doesn't even cost you money to, to go. Now, if somebody's interested in getting more information about how to fish here or you know, who to contact to do anything in this area, where would they go? There's me and I check with the, uh, you know, uh, for Neckam area, I check on the, uh, you know, the uh, Neckam Charter Boat Association. We have our own website. Um, the Porter's Lake Association, the Manistee County CBB, the Visitor and Convention Bureau, has an excellent website. So you hook to any of those those sites, and you're going to be able to find out lodging, uh, campground information, golf information, restaurants. So you know, I use the power of the web and, and get the, figure out what you want to do and start looking because that's a great way to um, sort of do some virtual tours of what's available in the area.